All right, we are recording and we're going to walk through this. So really quick today, um, like I said, not the usual format of going through um, on my iPad here. This one, we, uh, we need to pull up a few websites, so I thought it'd be easier to do on the computer. And really the goal of this lesson is making sure that you guys are tracking your investments, tracking what's going on with APYs and different things like that to ensure that you are on track to actually hang your FU numbers. Um, if you aren't tracking things, uh, it's hard to know what's working, what's not working, um, can leave you open to making wrong decisions based on bad data or trying to um, you know, look at the data too often when you don't really need to. So the Certainty app is super cool. It's another thing that um, the Wolf Den people have put together. Um, they've used this for a while outside of crypto too. And uh, we'll just dive right into it. So first off, they have the solvable equation part. So that's actually like figuring out what your number needs to be. So we're gonna check that out really quick. And if you guys have been through this at all, um, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. You just whatever that balance is, whatever that number is that you have, you throw it up there. So for easy math, it would be 10 million. Got that target date of July 31st, 2042. So, you know, good 10 year plan. Say we have $10,000 to invest right now, and we're going to be putting in $500 every month. Tax rate, 40%. Might as well put at a higher tax rate. You know, if you know um, what your tax rate would be for where you live, um, go ahead and add that in. But I like putting a little bit higher just to kind of give that buffer. And you hit calculate. Um, and it shows that, okay, for taxes, we need to make sure that we're getting a 54.8% return. Cool, that's pretty doable. I mean, if you look through at a lot of these different pools on Night Swap, you know, look, this is getting 107% return. You know, this one's getting an 84% return, 71%. So a lot of these different pools are going to give you that return that you need. And, you know, if you scroll all the way down to Marvin, it's sitting at 135% right now. So lots of great options um, to put your money into here um, so you can so you get there pretty quick. And we'll kind of dive in a little bit deeper on that in a second. So next thing we do, um, this is where we can add our assets. So let's take Marvin, for example, right? Just get Marvin BNB LP. Uh, we're just going to pull the 135% here. Uh, this varies quite a bit. So we're going to leave that off. Like I said, I always like to kind of use a little bit more um, reserve numbers um, and plan for worst case kind of thing. So do Marvin BNB, right, LP night swap. So right now we have 135. And then let's say, you know, you've got you put $500 in there. So we'll add that to the portfolio. Cool, you already see Target balance, 10 years, that's going to end up at 15 billion, okay? So first off, want to say like, one, this is really the power of compounding. You know, this is if you only put in a $500 balance right now, um, in 10 years, it's going to turn to 15 billion. Like that's pretty crazy at 135% APY. What you do need to realize um, is this number will change over time, right? So recommend about once a month, you go into uh, each of these and update them with you know, what the new expected annual return is, your current balance as of that time. And it's gonna keep updating that and making sure that your portfolio is on track. Um, you know, right here, they bring it up and make it nice and easy for you. And you can see switch between monthly and annual. Like, okay, so the target return that we need is 54.8% before taxes. And we can see here, 
that our portfolio return currently is at that 136% right now. So we are above what we need to be, right? And that means, great. Well, let's find maybe something a little bit safer um, that we could put money into, you know, whether it's USDT, BUSD, um, ETH, BNB, Guard, BUSD, um, whatever that might be for you. Um, again, this is that part where it depends on what you, where your golden goose is, what you believe is going to be the great long-term investment, the place that you think the token the project that you think is going to really take off and really be a good store of value that you start moving your money into. So, you know, let's just take the USD T, the USD there, the stable coin pair. So that should go pretty, pretty stable. We'll put in, you know, so this is only a 5.49% return. So it's not huge. You know, it's not something that we're going to really look at as a way to increase our portfolio a lot, um, but this is going to be something safer. So let's switch out. We'll put 250 in there and then what will happen is as you go, you're going to keep updating this number and you're going to keep moving, you know, your Marvin into your Marvin BNB into here or any of your other assets you might want to start putting in here. You know, it could also be um, some kind of Bitcoin farming that might only get you a 5% return. You start putting $500 in there. So again, this is just something to help you keep track of all your investments, where they're going and what that expected um, balance is gonna be. And the main thing to remember with this guys is it's a projected balance. You know, there is no certainty, you know, there is no absolute certainty. What we're trying to do is get enough information that we can make an educated guess and be confident that these things are going to either go up in value or hold their value over time. You know, that's where like a USDT, BUSD, Stable pair is something that we could probably be pretty confident is going to hold its value over time. So as you are building your portfolio, um, getting closer to that FU number, you can start moving more and more money into these more stable assets or a Bitcoin asset that you think is going to continue going up in value. Because um, the main thing to remember too, is this is taking the current price of whatever that token is. Um, it's not factoring in if it goes up or down. So, you know, the thing is, if Bitcoin goes back up to $40,000, $6,000, $80,000, something like that, now that 5% ends up being more like 10, 15, or 20% um, that you're making money on. You know, so if that doubles, triples, quadruples over time, that's also going to increase your your portfolio advance too. And that's why we recommend updating this every month, coming back in, seeing what your new balance is. Um, I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But it's really simple, guys. Um, it's it's not, there's nothing complicated about this. It's really just making sure that you actually do the work. You put the numbers in here so that you know uh, what you're doing, you know, where things are at. Because if you don't track it, you know, then you're not going to be able to make good good data driven decisions on that. All right, move on to the next screen here. And this is where we can edit it each month. You know, so we'll come back in and be like, oh, okay, well now let's see our Marvin's up to $700, but this has dropped down to 120, 28%. All right, not a big deal. Um, yeah, this one stayed the same as far as percentage goes, but you know, we threw in, you know, of that $500 that we're investing, we put $200 or $250 in there that moved that up to the 500. And then oops, let's put it to 50. Cool. So now we updated that, we see the new projections um, and we kind of keep going from there. 
you know, so let's say now we're in month four. All right, whoops. All right, this month we started getting into one of the auto compounders, you know, we're ready to move the night B, night B U S D L P. All right. So let's say, all right. So the expected return on that one right now is 74.16. And we put $500 in there. Excellent. So, now we have that, we have that new portfolio balance updated. And, you know, remember that $500 monthly investment that we're looking to make, that can start coming from the yields you get on these. You know, that's the really cool thing about this Night Swap ecosystem is once you stake your Marvin BNB in there, um, you know, you can do Wolfie's BNB. Any of these projects, you know, if you like the joke project, great. Forge, um, again, like if you prefer stables or you think Bitcoin's the big one or Ethereum, you have all these different pools that you can start moving your money into and you're harvesting your night as you go. And that is adding to that $500 investment, right? So maybe in the beginning, you're only able to put in a hundred or $200 from taking these rewards. Great. That's fine. You know, figure out how to come up with that extra 400, $300, um, whether that's picking up a second job, doing some freelance work, uh, whatever it might be. You know, just the main thing is making sure that you're getting that $500 in there every month to make sure you stay on track to that $10 million target balance. Right. And however you do it, um, keep doing it. What I like to do is every two, three days, um, I'll go in, I'll harvest my Marvin, you know, harvest the other pools that I'm in and then drop them either back into the Marvin one. Um, I'm doing, putting a lot into the night BUSD pool right now. Um, night BNB pool, I'm a big fan of the BUSD guard. So you have all these auto compounders that you can start moving that night into that you're earning for rewards and it's just going to keep compounding, you know, it's going to roll it out, roll it into itself and make life super easy for you. So that all you're doing every month is coming back in, adding the portfolio, you know, add the new balance and move that up to hours and now, you know, let's say this one's up to 600. And, you know, let's say something crazy happened and the night USD pool for whatever reason fell. And now that's one that's only at 400. All right, that's fine. So you update it. And we go back to the summary. And that's it. So super simple there, guys. Uh, but super important that you keep tracking this. Um, keep making updates to this and making sure that you are on track. Um, you can't upgrade your account for free and start with this. And this gets you just a little bit deeper into um, a breakdown of those numbers. So if you have some debt you're trying to pay off, if you want to cre create a reserve fund, retirement fund, different things like that, uh, you can do that. Next. Um, again, this is, we'll put something in here just to have it. So add debt. Let's say we've got a mortgage home. We want to pay this off by, let's say, 2029. And let's say you got $40,000 on that. Now let's say we also want to have an emergency fund. You know, type that emergency. Say we want to have six months of expenses, so I don't know, call it twenty thousand dollars. We want to be a little bit more aggressive on that, so we want to have that emergency fund by next year. Oops. So by next year, we might go this one to twenty thirty. Let's let's put 
that. Perfect. So you have that. Yeah, and then let's add that retirement capital, and this should be our base case. You. And that's one we want by 10 years from now. So to the 31st, and that's at 10 million. Go. So save. Uh, what is your request for it? Just take this out. Let's try that. There we go. So you have that, you can put in priorities. So let's say this one is 50%. You want to get that done. 20% there, 30% there. Put in all this info if you want. And then what you can do here is like any kind of bank accounts, if you want to better track it that way, you add your cryptocurrency in there. So like, let's say you're putting money into Bitcoin and you're doing it, say, um, Coinbase. Obviously you're going to want to move everything into a cold storage wallet or a self custodial wallet. Don't leave it on a sex anywhere. And we'll say we have. On Bitcoin right now, right? Cool. So you can add that. And that just gives you a little bit deeper understanding, uh, a little bit more on the numbers. You can put your income in here. Let's say my golf one business monthly, say you make $5,000 a month, right? whatever expenses thousand dollars yeah again just easy math here so this is just a better way to or um, an easier way to have a little bit more tracking of all of your expenses and things like that depending on how deep you want to go you can select how you want to fund these, fuel these. Right. And now you have a better, better understanding of everything that's in here. But if you don't want to get that far into it, really, this is the main thing that you need to worry about. You know, have that solvable number and just make sure that you're on track. And remember, this will change. These numbers will change each month as you go along. That's okay. That's to be expected. The market does market things. Tokens and coins go up and down. The APYs change over time. That's why it's important to come in here every month and uh, update these numbers. Now, I will be sharing links for this uh, after the video is done. The other thing that would be a nice little tool to help out with. Uh, if you'd like to use it, you can put all those numbers in here and then you can keep track of your total assets each year here. Let's say you start with 10,000 at the beginning, you know, 2023, now it's up to 15, whatever that might be. And then this is just an easy little check mark thing to track whether or not you have been making those that $500 monthly investment in there or $1,000 or whatever it might be that you need to do to get to get to your number. You know, this is again, if you don't track it, then you can't fix it. So if you find out like, oh, okay, I was only able to put in $500 for out of the 12 months, you know, Why'd you miss it? And start to go and look back. Like, do I need to cut expenses somewhere? Do I have to pick up more hours at work? What do I got to do um, to make sure that we're putting that five hundred dollar investment in every single month? Okay. Uh, so keeping this super simple. Again, we don't need more data. More often than not, um, the more data you have, the worse decisions you're going to make. 
So we want to keep it super simple and just know if we're on track or off track. And we can start getting the weeds more um, if we're finding out if we're off track. And we'll get into that to another, another lesson. But you have to start tracking before you can make any kind of changes. All right, so this next tracking is super cool. And this is more for your own personal life. And again, we go over that a lot um, and been going over how to think about things, how to structure your life to make all these decision things easier. Because at the end of the day, um, it's a great quote, you, know, you don't have a business problem, you don't have an investment problem. You have a personal problem that's seeping into your business. You have a personal problem that's seeping into your investments. So we have to make sure that the rest of our life is on track, that we're doing the right things to make sure that we're getting that $500 in every month, you know, that we aren't blowing ourselves up by focusing too much on things that don't matter, you know, making sure that we're sleeping well, we're spending time with our family, eating, you know, doing all of those things um, that make life worth living. Right. So yeah, if you don't track, it won't get improved. Um, so these are a couple cool things to go through. Uh, my personal perfect day. It's a great exercise and really spend some time on here. You know, this goes back to lesson one, figuring out exactly the kind of life that you want to lead. So you can take what you did from lesson one, copy it back into here. And now you have that as a great little reminder because you know, that's, that's the goal. You know, like we're trying to get to our perfect day and live that as many days in a row as possible. Cause it doesn't matter how much money we've made or how much money in our bank account. If we hate the things we're doing, it's pointless. So making sure that, um, your investments, that your work, everything like that is aligning with giving you to this personal, personal, perfect day is important. And as always, it's completely up to you and what you want that to be. Um, I know I'm successful when similar to the perfect day exercise here, um, but really just a good check on making sure that you know what success is for you so that you don't keep chasing more and you're only chasing enough. Now negotiables, um, these are excellent to have. These are decisions that you make ahead of time so that you can say, yes or no to everything much more easily. Um, these ones are taken from Nick, um, from his book bumpers and they're great. They're great places to start, but whatever your non-negotiables are, you know, it might be, I will not take client calls after 5 PM. You know, I will not sacrifice Sundays with my family for, you know, business purposes, whatever it might be again totally up to you, but it's important to have this section here, um, is just to give you a chance to track these different areas of your life. I'm going to sleep in here twice. Delete that. Maybe it's learning. Maybe there's a new skill you want to learn. So how many hours are you devoting to that? And it's super important to keep track of all of these, um, making sure that you are spending your time wisely. I know a big one that a lot of us are probably guilty of is spending a little too much time on social media. So start tracking these, making sure that you're spending time in the right areas of your life, the areas that you actually want to improve and make better and put focus on those. You know, so if you find out you're spending hey, eight hours at work, that's pretty good. Sleeping. I'm not great at sleeping. So let's say five hours here. Family time. You want to make sure that you, you know, two hours of family time, maybe spend two hours of eating. And so we still have, you know, 24 hours a day. Oh, shoot. We spent six hours on social media. So we only have an hour that we can devote to learning. But what if we take three hours of that social media, move it into bed? There. Let me pick another hour, and so we do two hours there, two hours there. That adds up to the 24. So this just gives you, again, a good idea of how you're spending your time, what are you doing with your life, and making sure that aligns with your priorities. 
Um, we'll go down to the tracker. This is super cool. And by the way, this I did not build this tracker. Uh, a guy in the Wolf Den did. You can actually get um, a couple of walkthroughs from him that are a little bit more in depth uh, right here if you want to. And then he's got this core concept doc from Nick's book, Bumpers. That's definitely worth checking out. All right, but moving into the tracker. So this is where you simply check off. Did you do the thing that you said you're gonna do? Now, these are all updated and pulled from the setup page here. So however you want to change these out, um, you know, what you want them to be, you can do that there. And again, it just pulls it in from there. So if you want to edit these right in here, um, so that you know, like, okay, maybe this month strength means um, the gym. Maybe next month. So if you do change them, you gotta make sure that you change all of them. All right, let's say learning code one hour um the unprocessed so you know whatever um whatever makes sense for your life whatever things that you want to improve again you want to start making sure you're tracking them and you just add them right here and you can see month to month hey am i doing it am i doing the right things Oops. through click a few of these and then you can see how close to 100 percent you get right and the main thing is you want to set yourself up for for success here right so don't try to overdo anything don't add in 15 things at once don't try to start going to the gym every single day um Start small and, you know, let's say all you can do is two days a week. Do that. All right. That's fantastic. Um, or it might just be go for a walk. You know, that could be your fitness for now. If you don't really work out, go for a walk. Simple. The main thing is that we want these habits to stick because we know that they're good for us. We know that they're going to improve our lives and we know that they are going to get us closer to this. Um, this number, you know, making sure that we hit that. And that's what this is all about. Um, making sure that we structure the rest of our life to make it easy to do the things we know we need to do to get to this FU number and have the food you want. You know, if you go out to eat a lot and you're spending, you know, five hundred or thousand dollars a month on going out to eat, and you think that money could be put towards uh, your investment goals, and you're willing to make that sacrifice, maybe you have um, to get eat at home, right? So now you get to track all the days that you ate at home and making sure that you're following through on that. Because if you still continue going out to eat, you're not going to have that $500 a month monthly investment to put towards uh, what you want. So we have that section. Um, you can check out the rolling averages for each of these. Um, and again, these get taken from that setup template here. Um, so if you do change these, if you do change these here, um, it will, it will break these rolling averages, um, but that's okay. Um, again, charts, so you can check out the quarter. How will it do for the quarter? And the setup. Yeah, maybe we can. All right, so again, this is easy stuff, guys. It's not complicated. Um, the best stuff isn't, 
you know, simple, simple is always best. It's really just a matter of doing it. And that's what we're trying to set up and show you guys here is how to make it super easy to do the things you know you need to do to have the life you want. That's it. And the tracking part is absolutely critical. So I highly, highly recommend you guys checking this out when I drop the links for them. Um, you know, if you haven't already put your numbers into the certainty app, start tracking your portfolio. Definitely need to start doing that and how deep you want to go with adding all of your other assets and things. It's totally up to you, but at least make sure that you have this set up and this taken care of and you're updating every month so that you have um, a good idea of where you're at and making sure that you're on track for hitting your FU number. All right. Um, so that's all I have for today. Um, I did finally uh, make it a little bit shorter, uh, make up for all the past 90 minute sessions that we were doing. Um, if anybody has that's on here has some questions, either feel free to drop in the chat or um, unmute yourself and ask your questions. Would love to know how everybody's doing so far. If you've had a chance to start staking your Marvin, get into the farms, earn yield from that. Um, any hangups that you guys are having, things that are preventing you from starting this, um, let me know because that's the biggest thing. You have to start to finish. You know, if you don't start, you're never going to reach that FU number. So if you're listening here, let me know. Um, if you're watching a replay, there will be a link to the Q&A form that you can drop that in there. And let me know what's holding you up. And I can start focusing the next few lessons on more tips and ways to make sure that you guys get going. Because at the end of the day, that's the most important thing about this whole education series is that you actually start doing the work. You actually start getting in here and um, earning these yields so that you can um, take advantage of all this. Because, you know, the market might be red for another month. It could be red for another six months. You know, we really don't know. So the more that you can start taking advantage of accumulating assets here, you know, using your Marvin to buy more Marvin, because that's the other cool thing, you know, throwing the night raid, use those night tokens and, you know, you can start earning 81% yield um, and start getting more Marvin. So when we launch NFTs, when we launch the P2E game, things like that, and things and Marvin price shoots up again, you have more Marvin, you know, that helps you collapse time and get to, you know, increase these numbers a lot quicker. Um, or night or guard, um, whatever it might be while the markets are down, you know, cause remember you're earning the tokens. So as soon as the tokens start to go up, you know, that might double your port, you know, double your investment, could triple your investment. Who knows? You know, who knows what, uh, what the market's going to do, but might as well take advantage of all the, uh, free rewards that we can right now. And, um, yeah, so I will, I will leave it kind of there. I'm going to hang out here for a few minutes. Let, uh, anybody unmute themselves or drop a question in the chat and, uh, let me know how things are going for you. Anybody? Is everybody doing amazing? Has everybody gotten started staking and started earning some night and use that night to buy new things? Or what's going on? Where, where are we at, everybody? All right. Well, if no one has any questions, um, anything like that, then I'm going to shut it down for today and start getting, working on getting the replay up on YouTube with links to all of these trackers and the certainty apps so that you can get started, um, making sure you're tracking. And of course, would love to hear how everybody's doing so far with um, Earn a Night. Um, 
with their Marvin.